In today's video, we'll be talking about stockbrokers and the art of commission for the United States. Welcome to Financial View. My name is Candace, and today I will be once again your guide as we take another trip into the financial verse. So now that you're ready to begin your investment journey, what you're going to need is you're going to need a broker. A broker, or some people like to say stockbroker, they are an individual or an entity, or even in some cases, maybe even a robot, who will act as, well, sort of as your representative, and they will purchase the stocks on your behalf. It's the way the entire stock market is set up. So, obviously, your first step on your journey is to figure out what broker are you going to use? When it comes to brokers, there are some factors that we certainly need to take into consideration to make sure that we select the one that is the right fit for you. The first of these factors is, well, how much money do you have to invest? There are some brokers that have a minimum initial deposit requirement, which can start at $1,000. So if you've only got a couple hundred dollars to invest, those are brokers that are not going to open the doors for you, unfortunately. Also, there are also some brokerages that you need to maintain a minimum balance to avoid service charges. The banks are my best example of that. So if you look at um, any of the major banks, a lot of them will charge pretty hefty service charges unless you maintain some ridiculous balances as high as, uh, you know, ten to $15,000. So it's a lot of money. And if you're a new investor, you may not have it. Maybe you do and maybe you don't mind. Um, that's cool too. However, let's move to the next factor. The next factor is, well, how do you want to invest? Are you looking at are you looking at buying mostly American stocks? Are you looking at mostly Canadian stocks? Mixture? You know, that's going to play a factor. And I'll tell you why. Some brokerages, they don't allow you to maintain a American money balance. So a USD balance. So what ends up happening in those cases is every time you buy an American stock, the Canadian stock, the Canadian stock, the Canadian money is converted to American money. You're charged a fee. And then if you trade that stock or if you get dividends, that money is being ch changed into Canadian money. You're paying a fee. And if you reinvest, it's being changed back to American money and you're paying a fee. So a lot of fees. So if you're really, really looking to go heavily into American stocks, you, you may want to avoid a brokerage that doesn't allow you to hold an American balance. The fourth factor is commissions. And to me, this is one is huge because some brokerages will charge you for every single commission. And a lot of times uh, this can, you know, this can easily be $5 a shot. And that adds up. It adds up big time. So just to recap very quickly, do you want to be paying commissions? Do you want to be paying service charges? These are things that you have to be asking. If your answer is no, well, there are options, luckily. In Canada, we have quite a many brokers that we can choose from. And that's where the factors that we've discussed earlier come into play. Those factors are certainly going to help us narrow it down and figure out, well, which broker is the best fit for you. Let's start with the banks, shall we? We all love the banks. How do the banks do when we look at the factors that we talked about earlier? Well, to be honest, they don't do very well at all. So if we look at commissions, they all charge commissions on every single trade you make, except for national. National just went commission free which is a step in the right direction. However, like the other banks, National also is going to charge service fees if you don't maintain a specific balance. So 
the banks to me don't make a lot of sense for a new investor. There's just too many service fees, too many charges. You want, if you only have a little bit of money, you you really want that money to be growing. You don't want it to be shrinking due to service charges and and fees. So, just looking at the factors alone, I don't think the banks make a lot of sense. Where does that leave us? Well, it does leave us somewhere. We have Wealth Simple, and we also have Quest Trade. So, two independent brokers outside of the banks. Let's take a look at them. When we look at Quest Trade, well, they do have a minimum sign up bonus. So, what I mean by that is to be able to even sign on with Quest Trade, you need $1,000 to start. So, once again, if you're a new investor, that may not be the best choice. Quest Trade also has commissions on your trades. So, they're not much they're not much better than the banks except they do have this one wonderful aspect of American account. So when I say American account, I mean you can maintain American dollars within Quest Trade. That can save you a lot of money if you're doing a lot of well, if you're doing a lot of investing south of the border. Because the way it would work, if we look at uh, Wealth Simple, for example, if I wanted to buy, let's say I thought I wanted Apple, and I, I'd give them their Cana- I'd give them Canadian dollars, they'd convert them to American dollars, they would buy Apple. And then I realized, oh, no, 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 it wasn't Apple, it was Facebook I wanted. Well, then they would sell Apple for American dollars, convert those American dollars to Canadian dollars, conversion fee. Then they'd take those Canadian dollars, convert them to American dollars, conversion fee, and buy Facebook. Fees, fees, fees. So that's an issue with American stocks. Now, on Wealth Simple, if you're planning to buy, you know, one or two American stocks and just for long term, it's not really a big issue. But if you are very heavily investing in the American market, then Quest Trade starts to make a lot more sense. Okay. So that leads us to Wealth Simple. So there is. There is a reason I saved Well Simple for last, and that's because, well, I think it's the best broker out there. Let me tell you why. For the longest time, Well Simple was Canada's only commission free broker. Of course, National has now gone commission free and joined that party. That's okay. Well Simple has many other benefits in addition to being commission free. One of their other benefits is that, well, you don't have a minimum requirement to sign up for Wealth Simple. You can sign up with as little as you want. However, I will point out that the best way to take advantage of, of getting started with Wealth Simple is to invest $100 and use a referral link. Because when you use a referral link, like the one I got down below, when you use that referral link, they will give you some free stock. They will give me some free stock. Actually, they technically will convert it to the cash value of the free stocks. So, you know, you could end up with a, depending on which stocks are chosen, you could end up with a nice little extra bonus as you start your Wealth Simple journey. Uh, if you do take advantage of my affiliate link, let me know how much you got because that would be kind of cool to know and I'm just curious. So that's Wealth Simple. The very basics. Well, Simple comes in a lot of uh, has a lot of features, and it's really it's really cool to be honest. I'm not going to break all their features down in this video because that is a video all on its own, and that's probably I think that's going to be what we're going to talk about in our next video because Well, Simple has Well, Simple Trade, Well, Simple Invest, Well, Simple Crypto, Well, Simple Tax, Well, Simple Cash. They're turning into quite, quite a useful entity out there for, for us retail investors. So, looking at the factors once again, other than the American stocks, well, simple seems to be the, the front runner right across the board. I've been using them myself, and I have had, um, I have no complaints. So I think. For most of you, Wealth Simple will be the best broker.
to use. Perfect. Now, in our next video, I think what we'll do is we'll break down Well Simple so that you can get a better idea of the whole process of how to use it, what they have to offer, and how it can enrich your investing journey. Before we go, of course, um, if you like this video, hit like. If you want to be kept abreast of my new videos, well, then, then slap on the, the subscribe button. Maybe hit the notification bell so that they send you a little email. That would be wonderful. And if you look once again down below, I've got all my other affiliate links. Um, they help support the channel. I greatly appreciate every time somebody clicks on an affiliate link. I also have a couple of channels that I'm associated with. Uh, you've got Tim and Nancy Danter. They do the Crypto Night in Canada. I was on that last Wednesday. Awesome show. Go back and catch it. Subscribe to their channel if you if you get that chance. And also, of course, we got the guy who started it all, Hi Rai. So Hi Rai challenge down below as well. Go over, throw him a throw him a like or a, a subscribe, and catch out his his live streams. He's a awesome awesome guy as well as the dancers. Anyway, until next time, I will see you in the financial verse. Take care.